Hi, I'm Dog. Hey, welcome back to Welcome to Zanzibar. Uh oh. Where am I? Where am I, man? Good morning, sunshine. Whoa. Oh, you yeah. are. Crazy zombie. With Jimmy Sue sitting on the floor here looking at me, me just impatiently, just begging me with them big old brown eyes. <clears throat> you know why? It's because she smells the chicken in the crock pot. Oh my goodness. And she ain't getting none. Oh my goodness. The horror. Where am I at, man? Where in the. I'm lost. I am. What have I even got? I got steak. Okay, I got steak. I got coal. What am I doing out here? I've got shoeless Joe Jackson. Hey, wait a minute. That's a diamond pick. And a diamond sword. What am I doing with this stuff? Uh, dog, who are you, dog? Where are you at? What you doing here, dog? Um, well, hi, I'm dog. Welcome to rehab. Yes, rehab. It has been a long time. It's been a long damn time. long damn time and I got things on my mind what is this nothing and wow there's iron iron Well, um, oh, well, let me tell you what happened. I, this is why I'm on rehab right now. I'm, I'm just, um, uh, moments ago, I was just, I was shaking. Um, <clears throat> moments ago, I was simply shaking with upset. I was at a Starbucks, uh, getting, um, our local Yukon Starbucks, getting a, um, a venti blonde pour over. Um, they don't brew up my veranda blonde. And they made it up wrong, and it took them long. I, it's not blonde. I don't know what they gave me, but it ain't blonde. Uh, but anyway, speaking of blonde, so I was getting up. I was uh, looking over some student papers and had finished up and was grabbing my uh, bag and my, um, you know, getting my shit together to leave, and. Um, <clears throat> and nearby, you know, there was. Um, I only became aware of what you know when I'm when I'm I'm lost in my own world. My mom always knew this. She was like, "Dog, you're always in your own world." I'm like, "Yes, ma'am." Uh, so I've always been. Um, and uh, and by the way, I uh, I tell you this, I am scheduled for a visit with my doctor next week uh, a week from the day in fact to talk to him about uh, my students have really been pointing out more so lately than ever uh, little memory issues that I have and um, so I'm gonna go talk to the doc and see if um, you know see if there's something they can do or um, I'll talk to him about my short attention span, short little span of attention. Like Paul Simon says, you got a short little span of attention. Um, what's that song? It's from Graceland? Something. Um, anyway, um, great song. What was that song? Bodyguard. Al, you can call me Al. Yeah, what a great song. Don't know what being called Al has to do with anything, but uh, great little song. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if he can help me out with my attention. Also, my sleeping. I, I begin to wonder at times if um, hey horses. I think I vaguely recollect. Okay, this is a save called Zanzibar. 
Have I even published about Zanzibar? I don't know. But you know what? We need to get back to home. I don't know why I'm out here. Except there was a time when I was lost in the wilderness. It's been a lot more than 40 days and 40 nights, I'm here to tell you. So I got a full stack of coal. We got more iron. We got a one of these things. So let's put it down. Let's do some smelteration. And make some... Hey there. Did you care to donate? Can I interest in can I interest you in the Lord Shears? The Lord Jesus Shears. Yes. You too. Would you care to donate? To the Church of Wool. Brothers and sisters. Pump up the volume, pump up the volume. So, um I don't even know what I was talking about. I'm talking about Shout to me. Let's don't get too far away, dog. This is what gets you in trouble, dog. This is what gets you in trouble. <clears throat> so yeah, I got that going on soon, and um, I'm hoping I can at least, you know, uh, in fact, the two things on my mind are Ambien and Adderall, and uh, I'm I'm hopeful that I can get just a little bit, a little bit of help. Mother's little helper, you know, um, helping me to get back refocused on life, the universe, and everything, um, and um, get on with my life so everybody else can get on with theirs, you know. Okay, good. We got a f we're fully armored now. I feel better, more better. Uh, so, yeah, Jimmy's just waiting for that chicken she thinks she's being punished or something I think I think I think she thinks she's in timeout or because I haven't fed her that chicken I've been crock potting because for about the last five or six times I've done chicken in the crock pot it's been for her so we don't tell her this but she's got her own chicken I'm gonna be crock potting soon as soon as I finish this up what I did was um, chicken breasts I bought some chicken breasts uh, and put them in the crock pot this morning um, with cream of celery, cream of mushroom, and cream of chicken soup, and a little bit of water. Doesn't take much water, just a little bit to thin it down. And then I took some minute rice, just minute white rice, and um, made a, about a quart of that in the microwave, and uh, just combined the two. And I've got. Um, a beautiful little chicken casserole very simple and so delicious I have been starving myself for meat lately um, and as a result I have been going to my new neighborhood Walmart uh, neighborhood market and um, buying and eating a lot of this uh, one dollar box of popcorn this delicious popcorn and um, some um, on the border tortilla chips oh my goodness I've been eating way too much of both of those and also saltine crackers which are totally unpaleo and totally um, glutinous and totally not so good for me there it is Whew. I was like tell me my furnace is back over here and it is um, so uh -huh. kind of scared me there for a minute Hmm. So I'm enjoying that dinner. Hmm. Well, I was before I started to do some rehab. So I got to figure out where we are. And I think to do that, I'm going to pause the recording, hit F3 to find out where my coordinates are, and then just head in that direction. So let me see if I can do that. Okay, I got it. I know which way I need to go. I think I do anyway. North by northwest. Has it already been one day? One day in rehab? Well, you know what? Welcome back. I'm glad to be back. Um, glad you're back. Glad everybody's back. Everybody's back is back. Uh, 
And uh, I guess at the conclusion of our first day, good morning, son, namaste, son of being the east dog, not the west. Namaste. Um, what got me so upset is I went to Starbucks and they, not that they kind of messed up the order, you know, I, yeah, I'll roll with that. I'm, maybe there was a, uh, there was a big line when I got there, an inside line, and the folks running the place were very inefficient uh, and flustered, and um, it was just clear that they were, you know, either new on the job or didn't have a lot of training, and you know, it ain't no thing. Just roll with it, right? Well, I was sitting there finishing up, grading papers and whatnot, and I suddenly hear, um, hear somebody say, "Don't you even do that, young lady," or something like something words to that effect. I certainly came to the chunk borders real quick, didn't I? Maybe this is why I stopped here because this is the new. Oh, I, I was coming out here to get some new stuff. Johnny Appleseed. I gotta get some. I gotta harvest up some new stuff to take back. We got nothing. I ain't got no flowers, man. No flowers. No. No nothing. Um. Let's come up here and get roses. We'll do that. And then we'll work our way. We need to be headed north by northwest. That way. A great Hitchcock movie, by the way. Um, and uh, so uh, I, I kind of didn't pay too much attention. Um, but that tone of voice, don't you even try that. You know, it was just... And then suddenly there's this little girl crying, this little child crying. And she says something over and over. And it finally hits me what she's saying. She's saying... In complete despair, complete and abject despair. I don't want to be drowned. She's crying. The poor girl is just sick with apprehension. And I finally kind of, you know, my radar is up and I'm kind of looking around and I'm like, is this really happening? And I look around the place and, um, what's that? <gasps> Mecca village. Oh my word. So I look around and um, there's this uh, this woman whom I presume to be the mother sitting there not saying anything not really even looking at the girl but just kind of looking I just just a glimpse now it's like I have this deep thing this deep conditioning that you don't you don't criticize you don't interact you don't get involved with somebody else's you know other people raise their children and bless my bless her heart I think it was my mom who who conditioned me this way but um, I don't know man I, I just anyway so there's this little it's a little blonde girl little cute little blonde girl just bawling in despair I don't want to be drowned and um, the mother is just not saying anything uh, who I presume the mother is not saying anything just sitting there but she's obviously really riled up she just got that look of just look of um, I've had enough enough of your nonsense you know about her hey thanks for the emeralds dude hey come back here professor come back here oh no nope, can't deal with you man it's no deal deal or no deal no deal about you hey you guys got any, any potatoes french fried potatoes french fried you know what they are french fried I got I got wheat man I got wheat for days what I need is french fried potatoes or french cut carrots you know what I mean you know what I mean Vern come back here Vern you're oops you're a coal man Cole Smith. Hey, library man. Do I need these books? <gasps> no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. Whoa, fur man. Furby. Furby. Well, that'd be a great place to set up shop right now. You know what? I need to get out of this chunk. I mean, some zombies gonna come and wreck your stuff. Your S word. 
I mean, what do you do? I, I just, I mean, who knows what was going Who knows what they were talking about? I don't want to be drowned. Maybe the, you know, I thought later, maybe the kid, maybe they're going to, um, it's, a, it's a Wednesday afternoon. Maybe they're going, maybe it's her baptism night or something. I don't know. It's a, you know, it's very churchy out here in Oklahoma. Um, maybe it was baptism night and she'd heard weird things and maybe the mom was just tired of hearing it, but man, it just, the rest of Starbucks, you know, I've made a, a lifetime, a second career out of getting my radar up and feeling for other people's reactions and, um, you know, just getting a sense of how other people behave socially. And the tension in that place just suddenly, it was kind of up on account of the incompetence of the staff, but it was really up, um, really up. Oh, incompetence. Um, yeah, uh, they finally brought my drink. It was it was it was the wrong thing, and it was late. I mean, it was. I had to go remind them about it. Um, which is not all that uncommon. I've done that before. When they do a pour, they, I asked, it had to be a pour over because they don't keep a uh, Veranda b blend brewed up. And um, so, I mean, it's no big deal. I just, I'm, I, I had my work with me and I was doing work. And it, that was no deal, but tension was already just a little bit high in the Starbucks because the staff was kind of slow and having troubles. Oh, um, beautiful tulips. Grab some tubes, thank you. And then this kid and her mom. And, you know, I, I was kind of glancing around, not really making eye contact, but it was one of those situations where everybody wants to ask the kid, Are you all right? You know, I don't want to be drowned. In. Yeah, and all the horror things, all the horror ideas popped to mind like, some incredibly evil woman is, you know, punishes her child by drowning her, waterboarding her in the bathroom or something. I don't know, man. Anyway, I left, I was pretty much leaving the Starbucks and I just kept on going mechanically. I just, I didn't, I didn't stop and talk. You know, I, the proper response would probably be to just make a little conversation, especially with the little girl, make sure everything's up, make sure everything's good, and, um, and, you know, without getting on the haterade train with this lady, life's tough for a mama. I know, I've been one, I've been one. Um, and I, I mean, I've had kids, I know there are situations where you're like, you're out in public and you're just cringing at what the kids are saying. You're like, oh man, I can't believe you're saying, I'm so, and people must think I'm horrible. I'm so, you know, plenty, there are plenty of, there's a lot of that. I know it. I've been there. So, you know, I don't want to judge and, but golly, gosh darn, man. I don't want to be drowned. You know, at least pull the kid aside and say, look, this is what's going on. You're not going to be drowned. It's going to be all right. But she didn't. And that kind of fed into the the weird nervousness everybody was feeling, especially me, man. And um, anyway, I just, I was in the process of getting my stuff together and leaving. And, um, and I just carried through the process. I you know, it didn't seem like my little glance towards them, the girl didn't look, you know, there was no harm. She's not harmed or anything. She was dressed real cute. Her hair was cute and, you know, no bruises, nothing, no, nothing like that, you know, but still, I felt horrible and I still feel horrible and there's a torch. So I have been here. I have been here and it's been here. Is this first gen or second gen stuff? Hmm. I think this ice is freaking me out. Oh, we're close. We're close to. 
Zanzibar is all about three three buildings. Well, we should call it four, but I think of it as three complexes. There's a mountain complex, if you can call it that. There's a sandstone cabin, and then there's an original complex. Well, um, put a break here on the beach. Oh, definitely been here. See the saplings? We're on the right track, man and women. Oh, I'm just, I'm just, as I was driving home from Starbucks, I guess a combination of the coffee and, uh, where's that sun? Where's that sun at? Where you at, son? Coffee and the caffeine just had me shaking, man. There you are. Namaste, good morning, son. Jimmy really thinks she's going to be fed. You're a mean daddy dog. I know it. You ain't getting my chicken casserole, Jim. She has been doing something weird. She has... Oh, here's, here's stone. What is this place? I don't remember this. What in the... What in the tarnation? What in the world? What is up with all this? Why did I do that? I used to dig for clay kind of like this, but it looks like I was digging for sand here. <clears throat> Let's go find out. Because I don't remember this place at all. I don't remember it at all. Would you look at this? Here's a place. I don't think I've been to this place in years of real life. So that's the furnaces on the outside. Wow, I have I don't even remember this. Yes, I do. That was a trap. Why? Why dog? That was a trap. To lure zombies, creepers for gunpowder. Whoa, maybe. I I can't remember. All I can remember is I believe it was a trap. It's a tarp. Oh, that could have ended rehab in a hurry. In a New York minute. If not for my iron shoes, I am an iron man. Well, obviously I haven't been here in a long time. That's awesome. That is... What do I do with all the sand, though? That is amazing. I don't remember that. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But I came from that way. Alright, close your eyes. i got to... I gotta do a check here. Okay. I might have come from that way. I definitely, I came over here to mine something. I'm pretty sure it was clay. Oh, that poor little girl, though. I, um, just as I was still trying to figure out if I should I was basically on automatic pilot walking to the truck oh, you know when I talk to the, I want to talk to the class about this because it's like I was lost in my own world again and life was happening and I'm really slow to respond um, when life happens in unexpected ways Is there something over that way? Oh, yeah. Memory, memory. Having these memories. Is this alpha terrain? No, because there are birch trees there. You said an orange pillar to the left? That's weird. And spawn is actually that way, so 
I gotta check out this, but it's probably um, lava. Lava? What would lava be doing up? There wasn't a ridge. Yeah, I'm slow to respond, slow to react, and all of my conditioning, my instincts tell me go to the aid of someone. But my conditioning, all of my conditioning is like don't don't butt in where you're not invited. But doesn't conditioning go out the window when a kid is involved? Look at that. It does, doesn't it? Oh, what in the blue blazes? He's up in here. I must have come in from the other side to light that up. This is, I don't even know this area. Look at that. So obvious, oh, Moon Watcher, dun, 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 perfect pitch. Yo, oh, wow, hey look at that, I don't think nobody mind if we do this. Wow. Torch is still burning. Candle. Candle of life still burning brightly. Candle of life. A uh, moody blue song. Oh man, that poor girl. Oh, I just hope she was alright. Yeah, I'm on automatic. I'm just, you know, completely on automatic pilot. And I'm out of there feeling really, really anxious and irritable and scared. Scared, really. Just shaking with anger and and fear for that poor girl God. but you know what I know it was the reality is it was nothing man why'd I do this why did why'd you oh, why'd you do this I don't know I suck man I suck um, I thought of I thought of things I could do after I had driven away and had calmed down, gotten emotionally disconnected from the moment. You know, I don't, when I'm emotionally, this is one reason I disconnect from the moment. I, I know it. It's from a long time ago. When I'm connected in the moment emotionally, I'm all wrapped up and tangled up. And I don't know, I don't respond appropriately. Whoa, look at this place. And um, and I know that, and so historically, I know I need to. Um, what in the world was I doing around here? You know, I know I have to wait in my response. You know, until I have some time to calm down and figure out what's going on, because my first responses are almost always wrong in cases like that. Um, so I don't know man I just uh, just kind of sorry to lay that on you now but that's that's why I'm on rehab right now I'm just uh, just had to talk that out talk it out kind of prepare what I want to say in the classroom tomorrow um, you know I used to do pits like that as traps wait for a mob to fall in and then, then uh um, hit it a few times, cause it to despawn, and um, collect its loot. Pretty sure. Pretty sure I need to go this way. Let's go back around to the right. Let's loop it around. Well, this is kind of an unexpected bonus to find all this stuff out here, because I didn't. Um, I when I logged in, this clay. When I logged in, I just kind of expected to. Um, so this is right across this land bridge here. Why did I go to the effort of building that? 
It looks very thoughtlessly composed. But we should be right up in there. Should be the way to spawn right beyond that tree. In the line of that tree. Oh, there's some torches right there. <gasps> Sandstone house. Can we make it before nightfall? You know, I can probably anticipate the. Re you know, I hear my own response. I can probably anticipate others' responses. Is you gotta say something, even if it's wrong. You gotta do something. You gotta settle. You gotta, at the very least, get enough info to settle everybody down, so everybody's not all freaking out about stuff and calling the police for child abuse and all kind of stuff. You, you gotta at least help everybody else to settle. And I know that in hindsight. But it's hard for me to get there in the moment. Hard, impossible, frankly. A and frankly. Don't call me Shirley. Uh, it's on the other side. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, structure. Well, number three, we missed the great mountain structure. That way leads to home base, Zanzibar home base. Follow the lighted pillars. This way leads to um, the mountain base and beyond. And uh, this is right up here. I'm pretty sure I published an episode of Rehab where I just, just about got killed by a skeleton before I got ironed up. Well, you know what? That'll do it for today. Uh, I'm sure that little girl is just fine. You know, um, she looked fine, dressed fine. You know, probably not a. Nothing to worry about, dog. And viewers. We got some emeralds. Don't need the seeds. Let's go toss a chicken egg for good luck. Toss that chicken egg for good luck. Boof. Whoa. Toss a chicken leg and a chicken egg and a bunch of skeletons for him. Did we leave anything on the, on the stove here? We did not. Anything to carry with us? Don't think I need anything. Thank you very much. Got us some flowers. We can put up that bacon. We can put up the wool. We can even put up the concrete. Well, all right. I want to put a break here, and I'll see you again next time. Man, what a, what a tough day.